watching Friday Night Lights, sponsored by Jack in the Box. The second full week of Imperial Valley Spring Football has arrived. Thank you very much for joining us for another special edition of Friday Night Lights. I'm Rob Fran. And I'm Brandon Mejia. We begin tonight's show with an Imperial Valley League rivalry that has emerged over the last decades. In most many cases, the Brawley Wildcats Imperial Tigers games would either give the winning team the inside track at winning the IVL title or to win it, Rob, all outright. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> tonight's class certainly seems no different as both of these proud programs come into tonight with undefeated records. So, something would certainly have to give in tonight's marquee matchup between the Wildcats and the Tigers in what would be an old-fashioned cat fight. So we take you out to Shimamoto Simpson Stadium for this one with both teams fired up and ready to go. Opening kickoff, Cats returner Daniel Camillo initially misjudges the bounce on the ball, but he would recover nicely picking it up, and then he's going to get some key blocks, and then he's going to juke oh. out Ethan Gonzalez-Lopez, making him look silly, and he's off to the races for an 80-yard touchdown return. The Cats providing fireworks right off the bat. Brawley going for the two-point conversion. Isaiah Young gets the call. He pounds it in. Eight to nothing, Wildcats. Now, the Tigers come out aggressive with the running game. Brendan Adams goes up the gut, bulldozes his way for an 11-yard gain. First down, Imperial. More Adams. He's going to trip over Joaquin Alvarado on the exchange, but stays on his feet and then practically pinballs his way for another first down. He's a man possessed. Tigers keep feeding Adams a rock. He uses pure determination to get to the Brawley two-yard line. Imperial tries to punch it in, but Adams <coughs> fumbles the football, and the cap pile ensues. And Brawley comes up with a recovery. A huge blow to the Tigers early on. Brawley would take advantage off a misdirection run. Young finds an opening, breaks a few tackles, turns the corner, and then turns on the Jets, finding the end zone off the long run. The Cats staying aggressive, going for two again, but this time the Tigers sniff out the attempt as J.J. Gutierrez gets mauled in the backfield by a pack of Tigers. But the Wildcats would own the night as they put up a 26-6 dominating performance at Imperial's expense, making their case for a potential IVL crown. All right, tonight's second IVL game features two teams that have a lot to prove as both the Southwest Eagles and Calexico Bulldogs are coming off tough losses from last week. While John Haynes continues his rebuilding project with the Eagles, Calexico first-year head coach Fernando Solano seeks to transform the Bulldogs' football culture. Well, a win for either one of these programs tonight could give a much-needed spark that could rejuvenate the rest of this shortened spring football season. So let's get right to it. To Calexico we go as the action would ensue at Ward Field as this IVL rivalry game playing out on Imperial Valley's south side. Nice crowd in attendance there. And they are ready for action, my friends. Bulldogs up 13-0 late in the second quarter. Eagles with the ball and quarterback Estevan McDonough is flushed out of the pocket to the left. No one is open and he dives out of bounds. So Eagles now forced to punt at this moment. Bulldogs though, next possession, hoping to get something going. That running back, Devin Avia, who takes the toss behind the right tackle and well, gets a five-yard gain on that. Calexico forced to punt, and the snap is muffled. Bulldogs recover, but lose the ball on downs. Eagles take advantage of the miscue. McDonough now connecting with Jonathan Lopez. A quick swing pass. Lopez jukes two defenders and grinds his way for a five-yard gain to the Bulldog 38. Later, Bulldogs would choose to go for it on fourth down, and McDonough launching this pass. Down the left sideline, finds Lopez with the over-the-shoulder oh. catch. 28-yard gain, puts the Eagles in the red zone territory. Can they capitalize first in goal? Eagles now from, well, McDonald is going to roll out right, finds Nate Smith just inside the pylon. Eagles score with 27 seconds left in the half. But this would be a nail-biter as Southwest would march down the field late in the fourth quarter to shrink Calexico's lead by a touchdown, but would fall short by a touchdown. Calexico wins at home 19-12 to notch their first victory of the season. Congratulations to the Bulldogs. Indeed. Well, we are two weeks in, Rob, and that means we finally have some standings to look at, my friend. And as of right now, the top dog, Brawley, 2-0 overall. They certainly made a statement tonight, I mean, with their performance over Imperial, making key plays early, key blocks that allowed their runners to get to the end zone from long distances. And, of course, you just can't rule out the fact that they're just playing physical. 
They're playing physical, and tonight was a test, and they came and they showed what what you're not they're not a force to be reckoned with at this point. So we're excited to see what continues. As for uh, the rest of the standings, there's Central right behind them. Calexico follows Imperial in fourth. Southwest still fighting to get their first win of the season. And at this point, it looks like the Bell game's going to decide it all if Brawley and Central manage to stay unbeaten to that particular <laughs> point come April 16th. We got one to watch. Indeed. <laughs> all right, we're through the first phase of our highlight stack with more still left in the tank. Absolutely, we have an interleague matchup featuring Area Power Central and Vincent Memorial. Who would have the upper hand in this one? You're gonna have to wait for that answer next on FNL. <laughs> Ready to kick a ratty old sofa to the curb? Yep, this one. Well, right now you can get a look you love and save big during the home makeover sale at Furniture Row. Find sale prices on every sofa, every dining table, and every bed. Plus, four years no interest financing and free shipping right to your doorstep. Honey, we're going to Furniture Row! Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed. The home makeover sale on now at Furniture Row. Hello, I want to say thank you to all Arizonans who've rolled up their sleeves in recent weeks. You've put Arizona at the top of the list nationally for vaccine distribution. As more vaccines become available and new categories open up, please schedule your appointment when it is your turn. Remember, it's safe, it's effective, and it's our best shot at returning to normal. For more information, please visit azhealth.gov slash COVID-19 vaccines. Did you know breast cancer kills 113 people every day? That's unacceptable. African-American women die from breast cancer, nearly 41% more than Caucasian women. That's unacceptable. Breast cancer is the leading cause of all cancer deaths for Hispanic women. Breast cancer is unacceptable. Together with Susan G. Komen, we're committed to reducing U.S. breast cancer deaths by half. And we're going to do it by 2026. Failure is unacceptable. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sweet. With great deals, get ready to turn your dreams into reality. Get 0% APR financing for 60 months on a 2021 Highlander. Or lease Highlander for just $319 per month and get your first month's lease payment on us. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Oh my, with Chase Freedom Unlimited, I earn all this cash back? Oh, I gotta tell everyone. Hey, Rita, you can earn 3% on dining, including takeout. Bon appetit. Hey, Kim, you earn 5% on travel purchased through Chase. Way ahead of you. Hey, Neil, you can earn 3% at drugstores. Buddy, I'm right here. Why are you yelling? Because that's what I do. You're always earning with 5% cash back on travel purchased through Chase. 3% at drugstores, 3% on dining, including takeout, and 1.5% on everything else you buy. Chase, make more of what's yours. This portion of News 11 at 10 is sponsored by Papa San Rice Bowl. You're watching Friday Night Lights, sponsored by Jack in the Box. Welcome back, everyone. So far this spring, the Holtville Vikings have proven they can hang with a couple of IVL's heavy hitters, taking razor-thin close losses to both Brawley and Imperial. But this senior heavy Viking squad is hungry, Brando, for its first win of the season with an opportunity at home against Desert League foe Palo Verde Valley. Well, will Vikes see the return of star running back Jose DeVoe, a question I've been wondering, who hasn't played a snap since his high ankle sprain injury against Brawley two weeks ago. Unfortunately, folks, they didn't find out tonight because the game has been postponed until Saturday night due to the requested delay by Palo Verde Valley because of COVID-19 concerns within their ranks. The isolation period for the Yellow Jackets has been in place through tonight. You know, in recent years, though, the Vikings have played some close games against Palo Verde, and now the games are more meaningful since the Jackets departed from the IVL and joined ranks with the Desert League an off-season ago. Keep in mind, folks, kickoff, kickoff excuse me, for tomorrow's delayed game will be at 5 p.m. at Burger Field in Holtville. The Burger? Burger. Burger Field. Burger yeah, Field. absolutely. And I'm still learning my area. Yeah. Uh, football houses. Rob is a veteran here, so <laughs> bear with me in time. Well, I'll tell you what. You know what? I think this happening... You know, this postponement happening is just an example of how 
COVID is still alive and well as far as the concerns go mm-hmm. and how these cancellations can happen. Obviously, we've dealt with it in the fall, yes. you know, with FNL Yuma. You yes, know, the public you have two schools. versions now, you know. Exactly. Now so. we got two versions, and you know, any given game could be canceled for the remaining three weeks of the season. So. Yeah. It remains to be seen how that's going to go. One week at a time. Absolutely. All right. Well, tonight's final highlight is a second battle of area unbeatens as both the Vincent Memorial Scots and the Central Spartans have imposed their own will (laughs) upon their respective oppositions thus far. There's one good reason for this, Rob. Both programs pride themselves on their stellar defenses as both Vincent and Central came into this contest not surrendering a single point. Very impressive indeed. As they faced each other on Thursday night, One of these offenses would have a lot to say about the ultimate outcome of this showdown. So we take you out to a windy Cal Jones field from Thursday night as Coach David Wong and the Scots taking on Coach Rookie Pena and the Spartans. Second quarter, no score. Quarterback Jordan Reed rolls out and finds Gavin Marini. So he breaks a couple of tackles and then darts for the end zone. Spartans taking the 7 to nothing lead. And they were just getting started because Reed on the next possession is going to throw the long ball to Fernando Morales, who makes the acrobatic TD reception. Just like that, Central doubles its lead. Spartans get the ball back quickly. Reed hits up Isaiah Nava Esparza on the wide receiver screen, and he shreds the Scott secondary for a 28-yard gain, first and goal Central. And they would cash in. Eric Moreno gets the call, powers his way into the end zone for the 21-0 lead. Central's offense looking unstoppable at this point. The Scots try to respond. Diego Iladoy goes for the play action, but he gets planted into the ground by Marini for the quarterback sack. Spartans back with the possession, but the Scots defense would stiffen as Derek Jimenez drops Reed for no gain on the play. Central going for it on fourth down, but Vincent's relentless pressure forces Reed to throw the ball much sooner than he wanted to, stopping the Spartans' drive. But the Scots offense gave it back up. Reed. Tries to connect with Skyler Cook, but Vincent's Benjamin Garza was on top of this play, knocking the pass down. Literally a second before halftime, Reed rolls to his left, shows his other dimension, using his legs to get the Spartans' fourth TD of the night. Central was up 27 to nothing at the half. That would be more than enough to take this one. Spartans come away with their second shutout of the season, 34 to zip. Whew. Talk about some highlights. Mm-hmm. Well, the highlight reel may be done, though, but we still aren't. Absolutely. We got your score recap, your helmet props, and your Jack in the Box play of the week right after this. Team Friday Night Lights on KYMA. After a year of working from home and isolation with only a few family members, soon anyone will be able to get the vaccine and many will find different types of anxiety from assimilating back into the life of a new normal. Tools you can use to retrain your brain. Tricks to help others with social awkwardness, dealing with a loss, and how to break free of a mental lockdown. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. With great deals, get ready to turn your dreams into reality. Right now, you can save big on an adventurous new RAV4 with $12.50 factory cash back. Or choose a low $2.89 a month lease. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Hot chocolate, please. And a sweet tea of vanilla cone. And one baked apple pie. Thanks. Through the seasons, you've been loyal. We want to reward that. Introducing my McDonald's Rewards. Now every order earns points for mobile for free McDonald's. Millions of customers are leaving their providers and switching to Spectrum. And if you have satellite, it's not hard to see why. Because unlike satellite, Spectrum gives you all the services you need, like internet and TV from one provider. They do? Yeah, they do. And Spectrum has the fastest download speeds with the most reliable performance. Get Spectrum Internet with speeds at 100 megabits for $44.99 a month. Call 833-909-4499. Spectrum wins on TV, too. Unlike satellite, Spectrum doesn't have an ugly dish to install. And you get exclusive premium original content with Spectrum Originals. Wow, really? Really. Plus, Spectrum has more free HD and free on demand. 
Get Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-909-4499. And unlike satellite providers, Spectrum doesn't have contracts or early termination fees. We'll even buy out your current contract up to $500. Switch to America's fastest growing internet TV and voice provider. Get Spectrum internet and TV from $44.99 a month each. Ask about our easy self-install options. Call 833-909-4499. I'm Draymond Green with my Subway sub with tender steak and melty cheese. My sub is going to dunk all over your sub. Excuse me? My sub has bacon. Choose better, be better, and now save when you order in the app. Subway, eat fresh. But not Jason's sub. You're watching Friday Night Lights, sponsored by Jack in the Box. If you happen to miss any of tonight's highlights, well, allow us to get you all caught up. Yes. Ten- yes. <laughs> Tonight's scoreboards. Exactly. The thing we've been looking forward to the most. Sorry about that, Rob. No, don't worry. I get I, excited I when we start to look at the... chomping at the bit. We just want to <laughs> just get in there and, and, and kind of just tell all about this because Brawley, this typically doesn't happen. You know, usually these games are closer between Brawley and Imperial, but Brawley had their number tonight making their case for an IVL crown. You know, you, you mentioned that earlier, and you said this week was going to be a test for them, too, especially against Imperial. So seeing that score, that's pretty neat. I'm excited to see what they can continue to do. As we noticed, Southwest and Calexico, uh, Southwest falling short, 12 uh, in the last quarter coming in. You know, in a moment where they could have turned things around. Fortunately, Calexico ran away with that one. Palo Verde in Hopeville, folks, that's going to be tomorrow, 5 o'clock. That was postponed, so, of course, uh, stay tuned for that. Vincent Memorial, though, really just trying to get something started. But, you yeah, know, Central is Central, so 34-0, exactly. I point, understand. Yeah, to but. that point, in that, you know, before that game, Vincent was looking unstoppable. But, again, you're, you're dealing with another unstoppable force. So, that it resulted in that last night. Well, now we come to the part of the show where we give our helmet props to the player, players, position groups, or even teams that stood out from the rest tonight. Rob, let's start with yours. Who's getting the helmet prop? Well, for me, my prop is going to the young man who got your prop last week. (laughs) Central quarterback Jordan Reed is making a name for himself in this condensed season after taking Klexco's defense to school last week. He once again drove the bus last night. In the second quarter alone against the Scots, he led four touchdown drives, He wound up throwing for 260 yards and two scores and running for 26 yards and two more scores. This kid's a highlight machine, and he's already a candidate for Imperial Valley Player of the Year, in my opinion. Yeah, especially if he keeps stats up like that. As for me, Rob, i got to give my helmet prop to the entire Brawley Wildcats team tonight for a couple of reasons, offensive and defensive reasons, that is, my friend. They both, uh, both of their opponents the last two weeks, they've held to single digits. Defense on fire, and their offense also showing they could be a testament to a potential IVL title, like you mentioned. They came in tonight against Imperial, really showing that they're not a force to be reckoned with, and they, my friends, are getting my helmet prop tonight. I really like what I'm seeing from them. I look forward to see what we can uh, expect from them later on down the road, maybe against Central. Yeah, that bell game is going to be a <laughs> bell ringer. I'm just saying. Yes. All right, well, next week's lineup of games is a little different because of good friday everyone is playing on thursday night so because of that fnl will move to thursday night next week with our marquee matchup featuring desert league rivals holtville and vincent memorial so brando and myself invite you to join us for some thursday night football we look forward to seeing you then indeed we end tonight's broadcast with our jack-in-the-box play of the week my friends one of the moments we look forward to most and it comes from the brawley versus imperial game What looked to be a rocky kickoff start return for Daniel Camillo would change drastically as he gets a few blocks, puts 